All right, we are back for the final round, and it looks like we also finally won a die roll. So we are going to be on the play for this one. And this hand is weird. Um, I think we might actually have won too many payoff cards to reasonably keep this. If we had like a cantrip or a bear or something like that, I think it could be fine. But we don't, these don't actually generate mana without a bear. And these are not very good in multiples. And past in flames kind of means we don't need multiple grape shots. So I'm going to throw it back. Uh, this hand's fine. Uh, we can play this on two and then another one on three. Uh, I think we just want another land here. At least starting off. Uh, the reason is our line on three if we, ideally involves something to the effect of Baral on two lands, then play a third, then like Ritual, Manamorphose, Gifts, ma Ritual, etc. Et we'll see what they do though. Basic Islands, Serum Visions. Uh, this might be a mirror match. And that's pretty a common line, but Storm is relatively popular right now. Uh, that was a top bottom on their part. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and play a Tarn, fetch up our basic island, and jam a Baral. If it doesn't die, then we win. So that's, uh, that's pretty good for us, I guess. It forces them in a position where they have to kill the Baral on their turn. Which ideally might eat a bit of their mana or put them in a bad spot. Please. Alright, so it's probably a mana leak or something like that. So I'm just going to start off by attacking. All right, so we can go up to five, down to two, which means we could not necessarily win off the bat there. Um, we could cast and splice, and then if three red, so this would be free, and if we hit a ritual and they have nothing, then we can go off. Um, I don't think they have nothing. But we could also just cast and splice um, to get them to leak on the peer through depths instead of answering Baral, and I think I'm into that. So we'll do it that way. We have to hit a Manamorphose, actually, for this to win. Um, hmm. Having to be exactly Manamorphose makes me not like this line very much. Alright, that's fine. We can just cast the beer through depths. Oh, we did hit a metamorphose. No. That's fine. Um So we're keeping the metamorphose because it is an actual enabler for us. So here we only go up to five mana down back so we don't end up with more mana than we were before the pier and we couldn't combo then, so that means we can't combo now. It's probably killing our Baral or something. Think twice, sure. Come on, like tap your mana and spreading sees us or something. That's not a bad one. So we can... We can just instep Gifts on Given. And then if if and when they counter it, um, Noxious Revival it back and go off. I think I like that line. Uh, if we attack, they could click us. But I think we're pretty soft to a click anyway. So I'm pretty okay just trying to chip in that extra point. Probably just flashing back a thing twice here. Esper, interesting. 
Black's probably just like for fatal push. Oh, make us discard too. Interesting. Um, I'm going to respond in gifts here. And we are just going to get rituals and a past in flames. We actually could get rituals, a past in flames, and then like another gifts ungiven. If we just wanted to try to grind them out. Just like discard Baral, Noxious Revival, if they give us ritual gifts. Hmm. Is that line a little too cute? That line might be too cute. Hmm. Let's do it. We're here to figure stuff out. We are learning. I haven't encountered the Esper Charm uh, control deck yet. I guess drawing a card on their part isn't actually very good since they were at 7. They would then go up to 8 and then draw up to 9. So then they would play a land and have to discard unless they did something. You know, like a, a Wall of Omens or a Path to Exile or something. I imagine they're just putting the fours in the graveyard, but I could be wrong. No, oh, no, they're giving us the fours. That's the other line. Um, makes sense. So I'm just going to discard um, Baral and... Honestly, maybe the gifts I'm given. Because I think Past in Flames, resolving a Past in Flames is better than resolving um, a gifts. And this gives us two chances to try to resolve it. Um, yeah, so let's do it this way. The Noxious Revival gives us the opportunity to buy back any card and then draw it with Manamorphos, so I'm valuing it pretty highly here. It might be a little incorrect to do that, but I think it's defensible. I mean, I know it's defensible, but I think it's correct. Uh, that is a bottom-bottom. So do we want to Noxious Revival something on top? I don't think so. We might want to do it with a Ritual. Um, probably? Probably with a Ritual. Just put a Ritual on top. They'll need multiple counter spells to get through all of this, or they'll have to kill the Baral right now, so that maybe wasn't my best line. Alright, so let's do the thing. We're not splicing here because they could just counter this, the first one, and then we fizzle. Logic Knots. Logic not sure. Alright, so they're dead. Um, right, yeah. So we have a Past in Flames. Sure. So they have countered our Desperate Ritual. Hopefully they don't have either Mind Break Trap or um, Pact of... I guess Pact of Negation doesn't matter because they have all the... They only have four. But they are dead. So we are going to get Blue Blue... Doesn't really matter, we're spending all four of this. Oh, that's nice. All right, so I have to lean forward a bit just to see it all. Um, 
we can... I don't think we want a Noxious Revival any of this on top. Probably just want to do it to a grape shot when we get there. Blue and blue. Oh, well. We will get a blue and a blue. We will go ahead and gifts one, two, and three. We will get grape shot and remand and desperate ritual and manomorphos So we will then Desperate Ritual, splicing the one in our hand. So we have a million red. We will then Noxious Revival, targeting our Grape Shot, paying life, Pure Through Depths, and splice. And then we will get the grape shot and we will grape shot them. Click, 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 click. All right, so you just have six that time. All right. I'm finally get one of those control matches I've been talking about. So, first thing, so this is kind of one of our bigger boards. Um, we're going to do pieces of the puzzle. Um, I don't like, I think I like the bolts actually because it stops click and it hurts um, spell queller if they're on that plane out of the board. Um, because we're not positive, I'm only going to bring in two of them. I do like Empty the Warrens against them because they are a fairer deck. Echoing Truth is a good catch-all. And the Swan Songs are good to answer stuff. So there are nine cards we're trying to bring in, which is a bit of, you know, quite a bit. So we're going to cut a Gifts. We're going to cut a Past in Flames. We're going to cut a Grape Shot. This is all because they're likely bringing in a bunch of their Graveyard Hate, which gets a bit weaker, makes the, that strategy in particular a bit weaker. Um... We are going to cut some of our um, creatures. We're going to be cutting three of our Electromancers and one of the Barals, just because of the uh, Spell Queller thing I mentioned during the first round, where our, our Baral can attack freely into three mana. You know, a Click is going to kill either one, but a Queller can kill an Electromancer, um, but not a Baral. And that makes a difference, and Baral not being able to attack into Snapcaster mana also makes a difference. And the final thing that I've been trying out and been liking so far is I'm going to cut a Pyretic Ritual, just because we kind of want to be hitting lands and have a couple more interactive spells. We're not usually going for an enormous storm against them. We're kind of just trying to make a few tokens with an empty here and hold up Swan Song there. Uh, you know, that's kind of our plan. So we're not going to need as a uh, high a density of our storm exclusive spells. So we'll try this this round. Um, we might end up wanting Blood Moon if they we see them not fetching basics. Uh, that is more of the lockout plan against them. But um, Esper Charm does blow up enchantments, so I don't. I'm not really high on on that idea. Um, so this is one of the matchups where I think this hand is likely okay. Um, I don't love it, but I do think that this is the matchup where we are going to need to hit a lot of land drops in a row. And because we only have 18 lands, uh, that is actually kind of rough sometimes. 
all right, well, it's also pretty good against thought seas because we're so land heavy. They probably just take our serum visions, but they might be afraid of rituals. Manamorphose is quite good. Yeah, they just took the serum visions. It's not surprising. All right, so we're just going to play our Delta. The reason we're leading on it over Spire Bluff Canal is because we want to go ahead and thin the steam vents out of our deck. And if we draw any more um, serum visions or sleight of hands, we want to have our deck shuffled for the reasons I mentioned previously. All right, well, we're just going to save a bit of time here. Two thought seizes, good grief. Probably just Manamorphose. They have a bunch of removal spells. Um, Desperate Ritual is probably the take, just because if they can kill uh, a bear on sight uh, reliably, then Manamorphose is just a break-even cantrip. But it looks like they don't have a lot of removal. I don't just want to jam Electromancer into their path mana. That seems pretty irresponsible. But it might be better to play it in that context uh, when they're going to path it rather than when they can just logic knot it. That one's a little closer, though. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go and try to play the Electromancer next turn. So if they do play, like, a Cryptic Command on it, we can remand our own Electromancer to not necessarily counter the Cryptic Command, but they don't get to draw a card that way. Uh, they also don't have access to the Cryptic Command anymore. So we do end up netting a card that way. Our Electro-Man has Resolve. Push. Um, that's probably fine. We can save Remand for a kill condition, and they're just going to get to untap and cast Fatal Push again, even if we Remand it, so it's not a great spot to try to do it. We're just kind of playing the waiting game here. Don't really have a payoff card. Um, don't have any of our draw spells. They're not doing much either, though. So both of us drawing a bunch of cards is likely better for us just because we're kind of a synergy deck. Um, so having a mass of cards is going to be good for us. Esper Charm, draw two cards, sure. Uh, I think like one more card until I really want to use Noxious Revival on an Electromancer. I'm just going to jam Baral here. Primary reason that I'm okay to do it there is because we're more likely to end up with uh, a, having to discard the hand size, but if we're making them trade like this, that's pretty okay for us. We're technically up cards at the moment. They have 10 total, we have 11 total, and they're drawing to catch up, basically. So when they draw, they'll go up to 11. Um, and, you know, the traditional card advantage doesn't totally apply because a lot of our cards don't matter. Like, Pyretic Ritual and Desperate Ritual don't matter unless we're casting something like Past in Flames or a Payoff card. But it does matter that we have a lot of cards. All right, that's fine. Um, it hurts our Noxious Revival, but we also could just use this to make like force them to pop it, which isn't terrible. I also have a feeling they might just get impatient and crack this. Uh, we're going to go on and fetch up a Steam Vents. Waiting on the way that they kill us. Hmm. That's pretty good. So they're at 13, so we just need to make like 8 goblins. So that's what, 1, 2, 3, 4 spells. Well, I guess just our rituals in the empty is enough. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and ritual... These aren't hard counters, which is a little bit rough if they're out as, like, engineered explosives. But we shall see. We also have two remands if uh, 
if they let our things resolve. Cryptic counter draw. Um, I'm just going to remand our own pyretic ritual here, I think. We could also just let that resolve and do it, what, go two, three, four, and then still have a remand up. That's fine. Yeah, that's super fine. They just added to our storm count is all they really did. they thinking about the gate huh how hard are we working to play around a sweeper I guess my issue is I feel like we don't have a pocket to really empty after this if this gets negated. So I'm just going to try to remand the negate. Because our remands aren't very good if they have a negate, like if they have answers anyway. Um, hmm. This might be incorrect. Hopefully they don't have a dispel. We'll see though. Alright, so Pyretic Ritual resolves. That's not a bad draw. Uh, it still means we're like kind of a man. I guess we don't have to play this other ritual though. So we could just go like shock, empty for six tokens. And then if they go to crack this, we can Noxious Revival the empty on top of our deck and have like Desperate Ritual empty with Remand back. That's not awful. I'm actually pretty okay with that. Let's try that line. Actually, you cannot just press the F6 button because I need to Nile spell or uh, Noxious Revival back the empty the Warrens when they crack spell bomb. Oh, they didn't crack spell bomb. That's bad. That means they have a sweeper. No. Detention sphere. That's pretty gross. Yep. Yep, that is rough. Okay. We can rebuild. the perfect tools to rebuild. Playing in our lands may be wrong, but I think we only have one Baral left in our deck. Or no, we have two left. I forgot we played an Electromancer and a Baral. Um, either way, it's unlikely we're going to be countering very much because I think they're just going to negate Remand. Or negate the first relevant thing that we play. Hmm. Sure. Get remand of the spell they try to flash back, which is probably fine. Her hand is kind of bad right now, anyway. So, even if they negate the remand, that just means we're trading, you know, a desperate ritual for a negate, which is not bad. Negate. Sure. Well, our hopes of getting them to crack the bomb at sorcery speed have been dashed. Okay. That's not bad. Are we supposed to bolt the snapcaster right now? 
Hmm. We draw a grape shot. We have five out of ten, so maybe we're just supposed to try to bolt their face. The lava spike might be better. This is like an eight turn clock and they don't have lightning bolts, so I'm not super worried about it. I also don't have a colonnade yet. Uh, it's worth noting Blood Moon is not very good. Okay. So we could Desperate Ritual our own, in Swan Song our own Desperate Ritual. There's no way they don't have Fatal Push or Path, though. It's probably what their hand is choked on. bottom, put a card on top. Crack the bomb, so they really want that top card. Not a whole lot we're doing about it. Thought seize. Another one. Good grief. All right, so let's do this. I guess you don't retain priority if it's not your turn. Whoops. No. No, I held the control button. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Holding control. All right, there we go. I guess they were just going to discard whatever we kept no matter what. So this just lets, that, lets us bluff a little bit. Bluff equity. Yeah. This also just lets us play around like mana leak a little better. a huge logic knot or something. It is a logic knot for eight. Good grief. All right, well, let's path or er, bolt the snapcaster. <laughs> and everything resolves. That was a good one. All right, so what do we do? We have, we don't really want to get this empty. I think we just want to get cantrips and like our past in flames or something. Um, Echoing Truth doesn't really do a whole lot because we don't get our tokens back. Um, we could get like, Past in Flames, Ritual, that doesn't do it, because then they give us Past in Flames and Ritual and we fizzle. Um, we could get Baral, Pieces, you just get a value, Gifts. Like Pure Through Depths, Baral, Pieces, Remand, or something.
probably give us like a three drop and a remand. Remand just isn't very good here, I guess. Yeah, so let's just go Serum Visions, Peer Through Depths, Brawl, Pieces of the Puzzle. I assume they have a path for our Baral, so I'm not really looking to jam the Baral. Um, that might be have been the wrong card to get as a result. Maybe we should just go to the other gifts. Yeah, they give us the Baral and the Serum Visions, kind of what I was thinking would happen. Uh, bottom and bottom. All right, so this grape shot's pretty good. We have a storm count of two at the moment, so we could brawl and move to our second main. Hope they path it in combat or something, and then five them with grape shot, and then our bolt and our path are lethal. Or we could just four them. It might actually just be our line, even if it doesn't feel very good. Oh, we can't hope they path it because then we're a mana short from Grape Shot. Hmm. Alright, yeah, let's just wait. Yeah, taking the Baral there was a little stinky. We maybe should have just grabbed the other um, gifts ungiven. Just grabbed like two plus ones that we know they're not going to give us and then aren't two good card selection spells like uh like pure through depths and serum visions oh well we got the gifts anyway so that's good for us so baral then gifts for three leaving us with three again um i don't think the gifts will resolve that's kind of the issue i guess we'll just do it on their turn and see how it works out Yes, keep paying life, yes. All right, so let's go ahead and eat a counter spell. this since we have the brawl in our hand if we draw like a remand or something we can loot away the island cast seven spells and then scrape shot they presumably die so that's good for us it's worth noting we don't have fetchable lands left think twice then flashback think twice Oh, they didn't flash back thing twice. Or did, was that the, no, they didn't flash it back. Interesting. Ooh, colonauts grows. That kills people. Snapcaster, another thought sees. Jeez. Oh, are they just making us discard too? Really? That's pretty good for us. If we draw like a bolt, they're dead. I guess assuming the bolt resolves. Or the deadest card in our deck. We have two polluted deltas on the bottom of our deck, so that's pretty tilting. 
So we have three fetches left. No, we have two fet we have two scalding tarns that aren't on the bottom two of our deck. Other than that, we're out of fetches. Alright, I assume they just six us here. Yep. All right, well, it is time. One way or another. Probably just exiling our brawl in response or something. Push, sure. I don't really know what else we have, but I guess Bolt. <laughs> Come on, Bolt. <laughs> Alright, so our pieces of the puzzle is getting countered. Counter draw. Sure. Um, so we can five them and put them to two. We can also just four them and kill the Snapcaster. Nice. Which does give us one more turn. Alright, so basically we're looking for a Bolt or a Snapcaster Mage. Or not a Snapcaster, a Bolt or a Past in Flames. Or a Cantrip and either of this. Or... <laughs> Close, close. All right, that was a pretty sick game to be honest. Um, so they didn't have as much graveyard hate as I thought they would. I almost want to try to bring back past in flames. Um, hmm. These seem a lot worse. I almost just want to like, hmm. Play so many thought seizes as well. Let's try bringing that back. Bolt was pretty lackluster. So have some more plus ones. Have a little bit more at the top of the curve. This might be a little bit little ambitious, and we should just be streamlined to try to choke them out on mana the first couple turns. Um, it's hard to say um, since they're a little bit off the grid. I mean, we have a basic idea of what they're doing. They're just kind of a blue-white control deck with Esper Charm, Fatal Push, and Thought Seize, and Nile Spellbomb. Um, but without knowing the exact contents of their deck, it's kind of hard to gauge what's going on. Um, I still like this hand, so I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to lead on Scalding Tarn into Steam Vents, because we're not a Blood Moon deck and they're not a Tech Edge deck. I am going to have to start being a little conscientious of the clock, because uh, there's only six minutes or so left. Actually, maybe we just want to resolve this now. What was that? It's Desperate Ritual and Two Manamorphos. We'll take our draw two and be happy. 
put a bunch of good cards on the bottom of this. So we're probably going to crack a tarn rather than shocking in a steam vents. Interesting. All right, uh, we will take a Noxus Revival and a Remand, and we have seven cards, so we will pass. So probably just think twice in here, or they had a Fatal Push they wanted to be able to cast. But if that were the case, yeah, it's think twice. Okay. So we can go, I think we're just going to want to gift Sun Given on their end step. Um, assume they're going to counter it and then try to win from there. I'm not positive that we can. We're probably a mana short, but we will see. We'll see how the game plays out. They also might just like thought seize us and throw everything off. This is the first turn that they'll have cryptic mana available. Alright, so we'll target them. I don't know if they're going to let this resolve. Um, it's weird. I, I think it'd be odd for them to cryptic here because then they tap out. Uh, on our turn with four mana and six cards. Um, but it's also possible they just don't want us to draw two. And depending on how their hand is set up, they may just think they can beat the cards that we get off gifts on given anyway. They also know we have this Noxious Revival. Alright, so they're just, they're actually crypticking. Alright, yep. Counter Bounce Spire Bluff. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, sure, though. Alright, so we can go... We could, um... Noxious Revival one of these onto our into on top of our deck and then draw it with Manamorphose. So theoretically, we can go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... And then not really go anywhere with it? Uh, we need to have a bear to win here. So we're, let's slide of hand, see what that gives us. Serum Visions. Let's see what... Alright, yeah, so we're not comboing this turn. Let's see what Serum Visions gives us. Alright, so let's bottom this, top the Electromancer, play a Spire Bluff Canal. We have seven cards. We'll pass. bottom bottom so their hand is probably not very good i may be misreading that a little bit but if i if i were a betting person i would guess that their hand was mediocre all right so let's do this they have a million cards but i think we can just beat them on the mana front Gifts I'm given on top. Now we will metamorphose. Blue and blue. Uh, 
let us go ahead and that one and two. We're holding ritual in case they give us a desperate ritual here in a second. We will pass in flames. Um, hopefully they don't have surgical. That would be really bad for us. Um, but we can't really afford to play around it with the way our mana is set up. Uh, grape shot and no, we don't want grape shot yet. Um, Manamorphos and pyretic ritual. We were maybe supposed to get a swan song in there because we kind of have excess mana, but we shall see. Ritual and Manamorphos, okay. Um, let us Desperate Ritual. Let us Manamorphos. Blue and blue. Let us go ahead and pass in flames. Uh, all right, hope this thing resolves. It did. Weird. Okay. Uh, pyretic ritual. Pyretic ritual. Pyretic ritual. Desperate ritual. Manamorphos. Blue and blue. Let us gifts ungiven. They just have stone nothing? I don't... Oh, they're just waiting for the next payoff card. Sure. But now we have a remand that has flashback. Think twice. Sure. Alright, so we will get... Grape shot, um, desperate ritual, swan song, and remand. I guess I don't think it matters very much. Our get our storm count's already lethal. All right. Uh, we will Desperate Ritual. We're doing it this way because Noxious Revival lets us play around Surgical Extraction now if they decided to hold it for whatever reason. We're just going to click a bunch because we can afford to at this point. I don't really know what they're waiting for. Uh, please. All right, cool. We got him. All right, great. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I had a really great time with this. I mean, I really like the deck and it makes you feel smart sometimes. But, um,. Yeah, so I think the mistake we might have made is I might just be trying to put too much into the deck there against them to interact. Like, I don't think both is necessary um, now that I've played against them a little bit more. Um, I think that we're probably supposed to just have some more of the bears in the deck because that's how you're able to force through all your spells through their counter magic. Um, I think less is more. It just I mean, that's kind of how these decks tend to work anyway. But rather than boarding nine-ish cards, I should probably be looking to board like maybe one or two copies of Pieces of the Puzzle and then like the Swan Songs and then like an Echoing Truth to get around certain hate cards and then just just call it a day, so to speak. Uh, maybe empty the Warrens, I guess. But um, I don't know. I think that's most of what I've learned in there. But um, 
thanks a whole lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed these videos. Make sure to uh, drop a comment in the bottom if you have any feedback or if there are any decks you'd like to see me play in the future. I plan to keep doing videos here on Star City Games. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day now. Bye.